morning, everyone. Another installment of our three question series. I'm here with Laura Matthews. Good morning. <laughs> She's, we're driving to the airport and this view is amazing. It's so. so early. <laughs> <laughs> Way too early. Oh well, has to be done. You gotta do the things you gotta do. Um, Laura owns an amazing little uh, spot called Alpha Omega Performance along with her partner Adam Hindle. If you're ever in the Salisbury area, I would definitely encourage you guys to stop in and do a training session in their facility. And they also do custom clothing, anything and everything you need. So fantastic little spot there. Um, Laura has been powerlifting for a couple years now. She has a few British national records, including a 220 squat in the, what weight category was that, Laura? 67. 67 kilo. <laughs> yeah, but I was never a junior when I competed in the GPC, so. Um, so, Laura, I know you've done a few other sports. You did gymnastics, you did weightlifting. What about powerlifting in particular appeals to you? I don't know, you've put me on the spot now, I'm panicked. <laughs> <laughs> don't panic, just a um, couple things you like about it. It comes quite easily to me. Like, technique-wise, yeah, okay, there's some things wrong, but not that many, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah, um, it's, it's a nice combination when you find something you're good at that you like. Yeah. To get those two things together. Take to it like a duct. After 500 <laughs> yeah, I think your numbers yeah, attest to that. Um, so obviously you train in your own gym, but um, who do you train with? You don't need to name names. What do you look for in training partners? Um, someone that can put up with me for a start. <laughs> um, They're right. Oh, hang on. Um, but someone that can, like, test me. Like, if I say, no, I've, I'm done, I don't want to do any more. Um... I don't it. want them to turn around and be like, oh, okay, see you later. I want them to like make me do it because otherwise I won't because I get lazy. So they'll hold you accountable. Yeah. yeah. I think we were talking about that earlier. That's why we can't train with our partners, our, yes. our boyfriends, because they go, well, that's okay, honey. You won't do it today. Oh, I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and my third question is, before your training, do you have any kind of particular routine do you listen to any kind of music? Is there anything that you have to eat or any kind of pre-workout or...? I don't do pre-workout. I don't. <laughs> it makes me feel sick. I just, I can't cope with them. But, I have actually just started drinking BCAAs when I'm training. I found cola flavoured ones, it's really nice. I don't take supplements, so it's a big thing for me. <laughs> um, I normally put headphones in when I train because I get really bored of listening to the same heavy metal music all the time. So what um, kind of music do you listen to? Literally anything. So you're it's like, it depends on what mood you're in? Yeah. yeah. I could quite happily train to S Club 7 if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> but music doesn't, like, once I'm lifting heavy, I don't, I can't even hear it anyway, so it doesn't really affect me too much. So, so you look for a training partner that's going to push you and hold you accountable. Yeah. And somebody who knows you and knows what you're... And I know we're not going to fall out if I do throw a tad trip. Because <laughs> that's sense. what happens when you train with your partner. It's not good. Yeah. Okay. So that's been three questions with Laura Matthews. Till next time. Thanks.